Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev Channel, which is the build 25,247. Microsoft hasn't released any Dev Channel builds for over two weeks, and we finally get a new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev Channel. This is a bigger build, it has a lot of new features, so get your snacks ready because we're in for some exciting new features that are introduced in the Dev Channel. First of all, what do you need to know is that Microsoft is also releasing an ISO download for this build so you can just go into the link that will be in the article below in the video description you just select your edition for example this latest build or version click on confirm then you're gonna have to select the product language for example English United States click on confirm again and you should get the download link for the x64 version of the ISO first of all Microsoft is bringing the Windows Studio effects access in quick settings and Windows Studio effects can now be accessed directly from quick settings on the taskbar you're gonna have some screenshots on the screen. This is only available for devices that support neural processing unit and this makes it quick and easy to enable and configure camera effects and audio effects. You can still access these effects in the settings page if you want it. Another new addition in the dev channel is the energy recommendations. This is very good and recommended for laptops because you can save up a lot of battery life. Just go into system and then power and battery and you're gonna notice here energy recommendations. As I'm using this Windows 11 dev channel build on a real computer not on a virtual machine I have a lot of things that I can select in order to improve my battery life and of course lower my carbon footprint so for example I can set the power mode for the best energy efficiency turn on dark mode set the screen brightness for the best energy efficiency put my device to sleep after three minutes turn off my screen after three minutes help improve battery by optimizing the content shown in brightness turn off my screen saver stop USB devices when my screen is off to help save battery and as you can see you can apply all if you want or you can click on apply on each and everyone if you want to apply them individually. This is a feature that is rolling out to the dev channel so if you don't have it you're gonna have most likely a link in the description below to the video that I've showed you how to enable this manually using Vive tool. We also have some improvements for the task manager. Of course we have the task manager search that was introduced a few builds ago. We also have some filtering options and also we can use the shortcut alt plus f to highlight this search box area. Also we have better theme support if we click on these three lines and then on settings we're gonna notice that it can change the app theme to light or dark and task manager also now supports themes for in-app dialogue all dialogues except for run new task and properties dialogue now support themes and will go hand in hand with the theme that you have selected and you also have an improved efficiency mode dialogue that will allow you to turn on or turn off of course efficiency mode for a certain application we also have a new suggested action if you don't know a few builds ago Microsoft introduced suggested actions for dates and numbers well, now Microsoft is introducing another suggested action that when you're copying a text with search potential, Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible UI that suggests searching this text in Microsoft Edge. Upon user selection of the search action, a new Edge tab is launched to search the copied text. This will initially be available for insiders in the US only. If I find a way to manually enable this, I will let you know in a different video. Also, Microsoft is updating the cloud storage in settings in Windows 11, of course. The settings app supports new visuals on your accounts page and also on the system page in order to provide a visual overview of your cloud storage usage across Microsoft products. This is currently rolling out and you can find more info about that in the article below in the video's description. Microsoft also released an optional .NET update that you can find if you go into Windows Update and then Advanced Options and then Optional Updates. You'll be able to notice it here. You can select it and install it if you want. We have some changes regarding the Start menu as well. Microsoft is working on adding more valuable content to the recommended section in start and they are announcing a new content type websites for the first phase Microsoft will recommend common websites based on your region or browsing history to help you easily get back to the websites you care about this will be controlled by right clicking on a website and choosing to remove that website individually or to stop showing all recommended websites entirely only some insiders will see this experience and if you do of course you can share your feedback one of the most interesting new additions in this build I mean I'm really excited about this is that Microsoft finally introduced the clock with seconds in Windows 11. This is also slowly rolling out. I'm gonna make a different video in which I show you how to enable this but once you have it enabled if you right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings you can go to taskbar behaviors and you're gonna have a button here show seconds in system tray clock. If you select it you're gonna notice that you have seconds in your system tray clock. That is really really nice. Also Microsoft made some performance improvements that will allow more files and content on the PC to show up as results in the Windows search box and also the touch key 
keyboard drop down is yet again available if you want to show the touch keyboard icon and you have never always or when no keyboard attached that is a pretty useful drop down if you ask me they are also introducing two new keyboard layouts in this flight you can check more about those in the article below in the video description and also some improvements to emoji search for japanese and simplified chinese we also have a microsoft store update you can go into the store and library and then get updates to have it basically microsoft is introducing some handy shortcuts you can jump back to key pages you visited or find a fun new app or game via the taskbar jump list you can now get handy shortcuts to department pages in store as well as products you've recently visited all by right clicking on the store taskbar icon as you can see here i recently searched for the windows subsystem for android so these are the new features in this build and the new updates i think this is a big build and a quite exciting one in the coming days as i've said i'm gonna make different videos on how to enable different features that are hidden or require some modifications or revive tool commands to be enabled now let's talk about some fixes in this build first of all in general microsoft fixed a bug causing some users to receive a system service exception bug check citing an error with win32k4.sys when installing via the latest dev channel build iso regarding the taskbar and system tray when using the bottom right edge gesture to see quick settings the tablet optimized taskbar will no longer be stuck in the expanded state instead of dismissing to collapse state they fixed multiple explorer exe crashes impacting taskbar performance they fixed the issue where certain chat apps that supported it were flashing with the new messages or opening a preview on the hover in the system tray the new show hidden icons flyout animation should now be consistent with other taskbar flyouts and the arrow will now rotate when open versus closed. They fix an issue causing the do not disturb icon to disappear while in do not disturb mode. They fix an issue where invoking the context menu for items in the system tray might not put the context menu in the foreground and it would get stuck behind the taskbar. The pin and unpin visual will now display when dragging system tray icons to any position along the system tray and not only when hovering over the show hidden icon button the show hidden icons flyout background color should now align with your accent color if show accent color on start and taskbar is enabled in settings personalization and colors they fix an issue where the taskbar was sometimes flashing when transitioning between desktop posture and tablet posture they fixed an issue that which was causing certain third-party app icons in the system tray to be unresponsive after the latest system tray changes the windows update icon in the system tray should no longer look pixelated after changing between light and dark mode they fix an issue that was causing the nvidia icon in the system tray to show empty notifications and they also fix an issue where the weak charger a warning icon on the battery icon in some cases was not displaying when it should have been regarding the file explorer microsoft fixed the gdi handle leak when opening show more options in the context menu which could lead to graphical issues and an explore.exe crash over time if you use this a lot they fixed a bug that was preventing certain phones from showing up in file explorer when connected via usb in the last two dev channel flights when connecting an iphone via usb iphone phone photos will now be transferred in HEIV format instead of JPEG if the HEVC extension is installed and they fix an issue which was causing dot dot X where templates to open as a new document instead of a template when you right click them and select it open in file explorer regarding the settings app they fixed an issue which was causing settings to crash sometimes when connecting and disconnecting Bluetooth devices they also fix an issue where if you maximized a window and then dragged it along the top of the screen into the corner could result in the app getting stuck and not being able to resize apps like microsoft edge should no longer unexpectedly show thick lines on the side of the windows and if you have two monitors on top of each other the desktops list in task view should no longer appear to be floating in the middle of task view these are pretty much the most important fixes of course the list is larger but you're going to have the whole list in the article below in the video's description in the article below in the video's description you're going to be able to notice also the list of known issues if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.